welcome back for another PG-13 Bible story. Today's story is coming from 1 Kings chapters 18 and 19 as we look at the prophet Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of God, one that God used to speak his word, and it is through Elijah that God predicts and brings forth a drought. God calls King Ahab and Queen Jezebel to repentance and faith from all of the prophets of Baal that they have used as they worship the false god of Baal. It is through Elijah that he brings forth this contest and competition between Elijah, the prophet of God, and those priests of Baal. To make a sacrifice, and whoever's sacrifice was accepted, whoever can end the drought, that will be the true God. And of course, if you know the story, Elijah wins this contest and competition, and in his victory, he gathers all of those priests of the prophet of Baal, and he slaughters them. Elijah wins. He goes out on top. He has done what God has commanded. He has cleansed this land of Israel of these false priests and prophets so that now God, the true God can be the one and only God of Israel. Elijah is the man. But Jezebel, that queen, she's not so happy. You see, her God has been defeated and she is angry with Elijah. She seeks to kill him. And so Elijah runs away in fear. He acts as though he's defeated. He acts as though he is helpless. He acts as though he can do nothing. In fact, he runs out to a tree and he begs God to take his life. Then he runs into a cave where he sulks and falls into depression. He goes from an extreme high to an extreme low in, in such crippling doubt that he can do nothing. And God comes to him. Even in his doubt, in his weakness, and in his frailty, this one that God has built up time and time again, yet in his human weakness, God comes. He comes to him, and he sends forth a wind, and then he sends forth an earthquake, and then he sends forth a fire, yet God is not in any of these things. God sends forth a low whisper, a comforting word for Elijah that he is God's prophet, that he is not alone in the nation of Israel, that he has more work for Elijah to do. Elijah, even in his doubt and depression, is loved and will be made great again by God. Even in our weakness and our frailty, we are loved. Even to us, God comes in the flesh to die and to rise, comes to us in body and blood to forgive us, to make us great again so that one day we will have glory with him in his kingdom. In the name of Jesus, amen.